Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! So, I know I'm very late to this video, but I thought I'll still do my top 10 sneakers of 2021. I know everyone has already posted their top 10s, but I don't know whether you guys are still interested. But I thought I'll do it anyway because, you know, I'm sure you guys can all relate, but we picked up a lot of sneakers last year. Well, we pick up a lot of sneakers every year. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> I thought I'll round up my 10 favorites. So there are some like honorable mentions because, well, I definitely have more than 10 favorite pickups last year. So before we get into the top 10 list, I thought I'd just do a quick um, mention of other sneakers that I really enjoyed in 2021. So one of them that I actually wore very, very often was the medium curry junk lows. I also have the highs in the dark curry, but I didn't wear them as much. Well, okay, I probably only wore them once, but these ones I wear all the time. And I thought it would be just nice to mention them. I think they're a good everyday sneaker, but I was quite careful with them because they have this suede upper and I was trying not to get them too dirty. Um, but I think I maintained them pretty well and I really enjoyed those. So I'm just reaching out for these other pair of sneakers. I also really like the Starfish Jordan 1 Lowe's. I reckon this is one of the best looking Jordan 1 Lowe's that released this year. That wasn't a collab or anything. And then I also really enjoyed the Alele May 14s. The Ambush Dunks. I didn't include in the top 10 list only because... I really like the black and white pair and that released at the end of 2020 so I don't know I feel like I was also overthinking this list because when I wanted to include like a certain shoe I'm like wait but isn't that just a new color but at the same time I have so many other sneakers that are just pretty much the same silhouette in a different colorway so I will probably be contradicting myself a lot in this video um, but with the ambush dunks I have them over here out of the colorways that released this year, I really enjoy the royal blue colorway. But out of the four colorways, I definitely wear the black and white pair the most. And that released in 2020. So that's why I didn't include this in the top 10. Anyway, okay guys. Um, another honorable mention is the Foam Runners. I still really, really love them. And this year, I did pick up a few. But I think my favorite would be the vermilion colorway. I do have them here with me and I'm sorry, I should get myself a little bit more organized. I just have sneakers all around me at the moment. With the vermilion colorway, I never really did like a proper unboxing, but I really wanted them because ASAP Ferg posted a photo because he was in Melbourne for the clothes exhibition and I feel like that was probably the first time was it the first time that I saw a photo of it? I can't remember, but ever since I saw a photo of ASAP Ferg wearing them on feet, I really, really wanted them. So I actually managed to win the raffle up there and I'm super happy, so I love them. But I wear my Ararat colorway the most because it's a bit more neutral. This is very loud, but I do still really enjoy them. So another pair of sneakers that I really enjoyed is the A6 and Concepts collab. I also did a quick unboxing of this already, but I feel like the quality and the colorway is really great on this. I don't own too many A6 sneakers, but I really enjoyed this as well. And I think those are my honorable mentions. So let's get into the top 10. Okay, you know what? I should just make this video like top 15 or top whatever I just mentioned because I obviously love all these sneakers that I'm going to be talking about today. But let's just get started with the official top 10 sneakers of 2020. 2020. 2020! <laughs> it does still feel like 2020. Anyway, at number 10, we have the Social Status Strawberry Milk Dunk. First of all, you guys know how I feel about my pink sneakers. I absolutely love them. And I feel like these sneakers are uh, really Mel... Mel? Who's Mel? <laughs> I feel like these sneakers are really well made. I was trying to say well and made together, it became Mel. Okay, so this really Mel made. <laughs> sneakers. Um, I absolutely love the colorway because like I said, I love pink sneakers. I love all the different details on them. I already did a full video about most of the sneakers that I'm going to be talking about, so I guess I'm not going to go into too much details. I love how it doesn't come in like your standard Nike Dunk box. And also, this particular silhouette is not a mid or high, so from what I've read, it is a silhouette or like the height 
of the sneaker was designed specifically for this collab which I think is really cool. There's also a chocolate milk colorway. I don't have that pair but between the two, absolutely love these. So this is my number 10. Next on the list is a pair of Jordan 1s and this is actually my last pickup of 2021. So I actually haven't done a proper unboxing for this. But based on the box, I'm sure you guys know what it is. So it is the Bubblegum or Atmosphere Jordan 1s. And this is a women's release, but I think they do them in extended sizes as well. So obviously I don't think it's like specifically for women, even though it's a women's release. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like if you like a sneaker, you like the colorway. And if it fits, then just wear it. I don't know whether I can include this in the list because I haven't actually worn them, but... I really, really, really love this colorway. When I saw photos of these, I feel like I definitely needed them in my collection. Again, you guys know how I feel about pink sneakers. I think the materials as well on this is really nice and I love how it's not completely patent because that may be a little bit too shiny, like the patent breads, which I haven't spoken about. But back to these sneakers, um, I love how there is like a bit of patent, there is some tumbled leather here as well and I think the colour combo with the pink, navy and white works really really well. You also notice that there is a little bit of a iridescent kind of finish on the patent leather sections of the sneaker which I think looks really great and yeah, I can't find anything that I don't like about these sneakers. I also love the detail here on the bottom of the right shoe. There's this little splotch here because it's meant to mimic like a little like bubblegum kind of thing. So yeah, overall great shoe as well. I need to stop saying this. They're in my top 10 so obviously I think they're great sneakers. At number 8 we have the Solehi Banbury New Balance 2002R. And this is the second colorway for this particular sneaker that Salehi has worked on. So the other colorway released in 2020. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble trying to distinguish the years. I didn't get the 2020 pair but one of my amazing subscribers actually gifted these to me and I'm so so grateful but I also really love these sneakers. New Balance is definitely on top of their game at the moment. They killed it with all the different releases and collabs in 2020 as well as 2021 and I actually missed out on a lot of them. One of the pairs that I would have loved um, to have in my collection was the Refined Future. It was initially named Protection Pack but now the name is called Refined Future and I think those look incredible so I'm definitely going to try and get them this year. I do know that they will be releasing them in a few other colorways this year which will be cool but I think the Rain Cloud colorway is still my favorite. Um, so yeah, I would have loved to include that in my list but I don't have it. But anyway, back to these sneakers. I really love the colorway and all the different materials that they use on the sneaker. Like how flush is this suede here, you guys can see. I've worn these quite a lot this year as well and even though this is quite a bright colorway, I found them to be quite wearable for some reason and they're also super super comfy. I don't know why I don't own that many New Balance sneakers because every pair that I have are just super super comfortable so I think this year I'll definitely try and get myself a few more pairs of New Balance sneakers and I know for sure they're definitely gonna have a lot of good collabs as they have had in 2021 and I also love the design of the box so that is my top 8? Wait is this number 8? Yes it is. At number 7 we have the Yeezy 450s and the reason why this is number 7 on my list is because, well, in terms of Yeezys, I'm sure you guys noticed that I haven't really been copying too many of them but I really really love the 450s. First of all, I think it is a really nice new silhouette for the Yeezy line and you know, this is definitely a love or hate sneaker just like the foam runners, they do look a little bit unusual, you know, people will be calling this the dumpling sneaker, but I really love them. And the cloud white colorway is definitely my favorite. I do have the dark slate colorway, but I 
only wore it once and then I put it back into the box and forgot about it so even though I like it and I thought I'd wear it more for some reason I gravitate towards this color and yeah I just love how unusual it looks it's definitely very different and you know pretty polarizing but I really like that in terms of like Yeezy sneakers I feel like Kanye really pushes the boundaries and this to me is such a vibe and they're really comfortable and I guess they're great to travel with because they're so compact like look at how small the box is so yeah I had to include the 450s in my top 10 because I think it's such a great new silhouette so moving on to the next pair I have a pair of Nike SB Dunks Again, the Nike SB Dunks definitely wasn't as hyped as 2020. I feel like 2020 was definitely the year where the resurgence of Nike SB hype was there. And I definitely bought into the hype with a lot of the releases. But at the same time, I feel like there were a lot of very strong Nike SB releases in 2020. And I just couldn't help myself. I spent so much on paying resale for a lot of the Nike SBs in 2020 because I just thought they looked really good. I loved the details. And so, you know, that's why my bank account's always sad. <laughs> but anyway, back to these Nike SBs. Like I said, I feel like the SBs did become a little bit more quiet in 2021 even though there were actually a lot of good releases as well I missed out on a lot of them and I didn't pay resale for them so obviously that is why I don't have them I really love the What The p -Rot Dunks as well as the Carpet SB Dunks but the one that I have that I am including in my top 10 is I'm sure you guys can guess Ta-da! Oh wait. <laughs> it's the Mummy Dunk. So you guys know how much I wanted these. And I feel like I, you know, was pretty dedicated to get these because I like entered a raffle that required me to carve a pumpkin. And I actually won them and I'm so happy that I did. Now even though it is a Halloween release, I feel like it is still really wearable because it just doesn't look super Halloween-y if that makes any sense. And I just love the different details on the sneaker again. I love how it has these raw edges and I think the colorway is nice and neutral. It's very wearable and it kind of has this distress kind of vibe. So I had to include these in my top 10 because yeah, I was... Dedication was very real when I was trying to get these sneakers. If you guys watch my vlogs, then you guys know the struggle was real, but we got there. And yeah, I'm so, so happy that I have them. So we have reached the top five. And at number five, we have the Pada Amex ones. So I have the Noise Aqua as well as the Monarch colorway. And between the two, I definitely prefer the Monarch colorway. And I feel like these sneakers are just super wearable. I love the colorway. I think it's super on point. I've definitely gotten a lot of wear out of this ever since I got it. And I feel like these are pretty underrated as well because a lot of people, not saying everyone, but I feel like with like sneakers, a lot of people judge whether it's good based on the resale price, if that makes any sense. And this was actually sitting at retail at some places, which I think it's really great because if you weren't able to get it like via a raffle or anything, you could have just picked it up for retail if you see yours. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is that there wasn't a very high resale value for this, which I think is great because I think it is a really nice sneaker. They did drop this in so many different colorways, but the Monarch is definitely where it's at for me. And yeah, I've worn these so much and I think they look super good on feet and definitely very underrated. So at number four, we have the Amma Manier Jordan 1s. And I also picked this up towards the end of the year, but I had to include it in this list because because I think it is just such a beautiful pair of sneakers and in line with Arma Manier's branding, there's definitely an emphasis on luxury and quality but also just really timeless and minimal at the same time and I think they did a fantastic job. I really love the upper of the sneaker. It's sort of this cracked premium leather and then there's also a hit of burgundy and they've sort of done it in this sort of faux snake kind of material I guess you can say and then with the inside of sneaker of course there is the quilted lining which feels really luxe and of course there are some hidden details on this sneaker that I absolutely love I love the colorway of the box as well and it also comes 
in a sleeve with the Amamane branding and yeah I just really love these sneakers I think they did such an incredible job I love the yellowing on the midsole and it just gives the sneaker an overall really nice vintagey kind of look so that is why this is on the number four or at the number four spot all right guys we've now reached the top three and the next pair I have I feel like is very predictable and I feel like this also was in a lot of people's top sneaker of 2021 and this is definitely I'm trying to see yes this is the pair that I paid the most for resale um, out of all the sneakers that I paid resale for <laughs> in 2021 but when I didn't get this for retail I knew I just had to do it okay and it is the Travis Ragman Jordan Lowe's now with everything that transpired with Astro Wall is very very tragic and I think that is why I didn't speak too much about these sneakers but just looking at the sneaker in terms of like the design and color blocking I feel like it definitely deserves the number three spot in my list I'm sure you guys already know what this looks like at this stage but like I said I think this is just such a good looking pair of sneakers in terms of the design and the colorway and usually I go for high Highs, but in this case, I think the lows look better than the highs in terms of the design and color blocking And also another reason is because the resale on the highs is just too high <laughs> That we just had to forget about it and so I opted for the low instead But I'm so happy that I did and yeah, I just think it's such a good looking pair of sneaker Definitely a very hyped pair You guys know that I never did an official unboxing for these but just know that these are just really nice there are some really nice details on this sneaker in terms of the co-branding and it is just it's just very nice okay like look at these cream laces guys look at this I feel like they chose the perfect shade of this cream off-white color to go along with the blue which is obviously the signature color for fragment you guys can see this is not creased because I haven't even worn it out of my apartment because I was waiting for the right occasion but I don't go anywhere so I don't know maybe one day okay one day I will wear these but I had to include it in the list as well because I think they're just such a good looking pair of sneakers and I have repeated that too many times so let's move on to my number two sneaker of the year and this one I also feel is quite predictable because you guys know how hyped I was about this release and again this came out towards the end of the year last year and I was pretty much waiting all year for it to drop and it finally did and it is the Kors Sakai Blazers and this may be a little bit okay this is very biased because you guys know how much I love Kors and Brian and just you know any Kors collab just take my money, okay? Like, every time I see a Kors collab, I'm like, okay, I'm ready, I need to get it. And with this one in particular, yeah, I just had to get it. I love the design of the box. So this one here is the purple colorway. And I still have the blue and red and reed colorway that's incoming, but it's just taking a while. But I actually managed to get all four colorways from this collab, which I'm so happy about, but I also kind of knew that I had to get all four because of how big a fan I am of the sneaker as well as course and I think the color blocking on this is super nice and of course you guys can see the course motive on the midsole of the sneaker and yeah this had to be my number two favorite sneaker of 2021 even though uh, it came out towards the end of the year actually I feel like a lot of these sneakers that I'm showing you guys came out maybe towards the like later half of the year but yeah I feel like you guys expected this and also this color matches perfectly with my Murakami cushion look at this how cute do they look together um, but yeah I'm very excited to receive the other three colorways that are still coming to me I think there's like a lot of shipping delays and such but I will definitely get my hands on them and I'm just happy that I'm able to complete the set because, well, you guys know. I'm gonna stop talking about these cores because I could go on all day about how much I love cores. So, at 
the number one spot. You guys already know what it is because I, well, haven't spoken about it and I feel like this was definitely the sneaker of the year for a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that I watch on YouTube as well. Um, I feel like we all have the same taste and we all agree that the sneaker of the year is the Ama Manier, oh, this way, Ama Manier Jordan 3s. And I feel like just everything about this sneaker in terms of the story behind it, the quality, the design, the simplicity, and just the hidden details as well. Everything is super on point about this sneaker. As you guys know, I've already done a full video about this particular sneaker, showing you guys the details and such. So if you guys are interested, you can go check that out. But this is my sneaker of the year because I think it is so well done. It is such a timeless pair, super wearable, looks good with everything and I think it definitely deserves the sneaker of the year. 2021 was definitely a great year for Ama Manier and James Whitner. So James Whitner is the founder of Ama Manier as well as Social Status and you know all three sneakers made it into my top 10. I think he did an incredible job. I just cannot say enough good things about this sneaker and if you don't already have a pair of these in your collection, I feel like you should. I haven't checked the resale prices of these recently, but I think they definitely vary with sizing. So I think the larger men sizes are a bit more expensive compared to like the smaller women's sizes. So this was a women's release, but they did run them in extended sizes. So yeah, it is for everyone and I feel like everyone needs a pair. So yeah guys, that is my top 10 sneakers of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I wasn't too rambly. My camera is telling me it's out of battery because I've been talking for too long. But I hope you guys have an amazing 2022 and I wish you guys all the W's in 2022 and I'm so excited to see what sneakers are going to be dropping and of course we are gonna try and get all of them and yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon bye so I'm currently trying to take my thumbnail photo and I realized that I didn't include any off-white collabs in my top 10 only because I wasn't able to get them so I don't have the Jordan 2s or the Dunks even though I think they're really really great sneakers and of course if I had them they would have definitely made it into this list and you guys know that Virgil passed away last year which is super tragic so that's all the more reason to include them in my top 10 but I don't have them so I feel like some stage this year I'll still try and find them on the secondary market but the prices for these things are obviously just gonna go up and then another pair that I want to mention is the Salehi Crocs I think they're really really good and I never thought there would be a day where I am paying resale or I will be paying resale for a pair of Crocs but I think Salehi killed it with those Crocs I haven't seen one in person but based on all the photos they look great so I'm definitely gonna try and get them this year and I think that is all I want to say yeah I was just thinking like what else I'm forgetting but I think that is all for now so yes thank you again for watching this video and I will see you guys soon bye